a little bitty one. This one will be good. So you hold your slingshot like this and you pull the rock back. <laughs> Where'd it go? Huh? That one's good, yeah. Okay, here, let's try it again. There you go, you got that. Now hold the hold just the rock. Woo! You did it! Hey, fluffy turkey. Coming in, Miss Turkey. Can I use that step real quick? Thank you, ma'am. Now you can go in. making BLTs and hash browns for supper tonight, y'all. I put these in the microwave to defrost them a little bit because they were kind of clumped together pretty bad. So I just defrosted them for a minute so I could get them apart. I've got some oil heating up in the skillet and we're gonna make the bacon. Slice up our tomatoes. I need to get out the mayonnaise. We'll be ready to eat in about 25 minutes. I'm just going to toast the bread all at one time on this pan under the broiler in the oven. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, you beat me the other day, didn't you? Uh-huh. You probably beat, I beat you on that snowman game. Mm-hmm. You hate it when fish look at you? Monkeys and people eat them. about to make some breakfast enchiladas this morning. First thing we're gonna start is the cheese sauce. Well, first thing we're starting is coffee. <laughs> the first thing we need is two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on low. While the butter melts, I'm gonna shred some cheese and go get a pound of sausage out of the other refrigerator. Got 
got some wintertime jazz playing on the TV show in winter scenes because I'm getting the feeling I'm not going to see any winter scenes this year. <laughs> butter is just about ready. I'm going to go ahead and put the sausage on this pan. We're going to cook the sausage and add the eggs in here with the sausage like we do for the really quick breakfast burritos. Okay, the butter is melted over here, so we're going to put in one tablespoon of flour. And we're going to add some cumin, about half a teaspoon. We're going to put in one cup of milk. Once this all mixes together, we're going to add in three ounces of cream cheese and a third of a cup of salsa. So who all does have snow right now? I know a lot of people have a lot of snow. We're going to put in the cream cheese. Sorry, that sausage is going to be a little loud. You want to stay kind of close to this and keep stirring it so it doesn't start burning on the bottom. I'm going to turn it down a little more. In between medium and low. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the third of a cup of salsa. When the cream cheese melts completely, we're going to add in a cup of the shredded cheddar, saving a little bit of that to go um, inside the enchiladas and on top. And I'm going to go ahead and get my pan ready and get the eggs ready to go in here with the sausage because it's almost done. Just spraying a 9 by 13 pan. Okay, I'm going to turn this all the way down to low now and we'll just let that cheese melt. Get the eggs ready. These are my favorite, the green and the dark, dark brown. I'm just going to crack them in here, whisk them a little bit, and then we'll cook them right in there with the sausage. all together until the eggs are done and we'll be ready to start filling up the tortillas. We're just going to put a little bit of this mixture in them with a little bit of the enchilada sauce and just a little bit of the cheddar cheese. Then we pour the rest of our enchilada sauce over the top, sprinkle whatever's left of the cheese, and then they bake for about 20 minutes at 350. You can get this ready the night before. Go ahead and do all of this part. Get it in the pan. Just don't pour the enchilada sauce over the top until the morning when you're ready to put it in the oven. Pour that over. Same thing, bake. Well, they might need to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes if they've been refrigerated overnight. I almost did this last night, but me and Titus were watching storm stories, and every time one went off, I, or every time one started, I was like, when this one goes off, I'll make those enchiladas, and yeah. Here we are this morning, making the enchiladas. <laughs> Enchiladas have about eight more minutes. 
I'm gonna make a little sunshine salad to go with them. It's pretty much just oranges and bananas. <laughs> you can add other stuff too. We're just gonna do oranges and bananas this morning. But yeah, you can add pineapples, um, apples, pretty much any whitish, yellow, orangish fruits. That's why it's called sunshine salad, because it's bright. Now we just slice in two bananas. And I have this vanilla bean yogurt. Probably not gonna use all that, but we're gonna mix some of that in here with it. Some white grapes would be good. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Good morning. <laughs> 